Coming as part of the Fear and Greed Weapon Pack DLC, the Taz-12 is the newest primary weapon added to Payday 3. It's based off the Spaz-12 shotgun, a staple of both shooters and action movies, and it's also a returning weapon from Payday 2. I was quite excited to play with the Taz, as I was a pretty big fan of the Predator 12 gauge back in Payday 2, and plus, there was no way that Spaz couldn't be awesome. When I played with the Taz though, I won't lie, I was kind of disappointed. For starters, the gun is pump action. This holds the gun back in a pretty obvious way, being that for every shot you take, you have to go through the pumping animation before your next shot, slowing down your rate of fire on the Taz significantly. While it is accurate to how the gun actually functions in real life, being able to be fired in both pump action and semi-automatic, it felt disappointing, as pump shotguns have always felt underwhelming to me in Payday. The gun also has a pretty horrible hip fire spread, with shots fired from the hip having an incredibly wide spread of pellets. While you won't notice the hit fire spread at point blank, the second you try to engage with an enemy outside of spitting distance, you'll start to feel it, and you'll start to feel it hard. The two of these combine to make a pretty underwhelming gun, as you've got one of the worst rate of fires in the entire game, mixed with one of the widest hit fire spreads. Outside of its glaring weaknesses with hit fire spread and its rate of fire though, it packs a serious punch, having some incredibly high damage. It's able to one shot body shot every unit in the game outside of the bulldozer, which definitely isn't something to scoff at. When I first played with the Taz though, I was playing with it like I did every other shotgun, being that I was only hip firing it and using alongside hip firing skills. After all, if it worked for the Rheinfeld, the Moscone, the FSA and the M7, it had to work for the Taz, didn't it? Of course it didn't, the poor rate of fire and horrendous hip fire spread made me initially think that this weapon was Loki hot garbage. Out of sheer curiosity though, I decided to give the gun a try with an ADS setup, and you know what? I was very pleasantly surprised. Something interesting about the Taz is that the pellet spread while aiming down sights is significantly much tighter than when you're hip firing it. With how shotguns work, this means that it becomes a lot more effective at killing cops at range, as a tighter spread means that there's a higher chance that more of your pellets will hit. It's worth noting that the Taz hardly suffers from damage drop off, meaning that it keeps a lot of its high damage even at range, so with the tight spread you're still able to hit one shot kills. One shot body shots get harder to hit at range due to damage drop off and spread, but with this high damage, one shot headshots are still easy to pull off. If you stack this on top of the long shot skill, which removes the distance penalties from headshot multipliers while you're aiming down sights and have edge active, it makes the gun a lot more consistent at range. You can easily make the argument that long shot is overkill for the Taz, as a lot of the consistency it has for kills at range is from its tight spread pattern. On the other hand though, I think it's a nice skill to bring along just to make it even more consistent at range when the pellets start to deviate, as you're not required to hit as many pellets to get one shot headshot kills. You can also maximise the tightness of the spread on the Taz with weapon mods, with the 12 gauge sediment choke and the widened breach stock further tightening its spread. When you lean into ADSing with the Taz, it becomes one of the best weapons in the game, as it gets a real best of both worlds type situation. It consistently keeps its high damage at both close and long ranges, making it a great all-rounder weapon for engagements at any range. Another great thing about the Taz is its ammo pickup rate. The gun is able to pick up between 2 to 4 shells per ammo pickup, and since you're able to get one shot kills, it allows you to be ammo positive with extreme ease. The Taz also reloads one shell at a time, similarly to the Rheinfeld. This proves extremely useful for activating the combat reload skill, which refreshes your edge and your grit as long as you reload a weapon that still has ammo in its clip or magazine. As reloading just a single shell is quick, it allows you to activate the skill and refresh your edge and grit with little hassle. The weapon still suffers from having a low rate of fire and horrible hip fire accuracy, but it more than certainly makes up for it with its high damage, great range potential, incredible ammo pickup, and overall ease of use. I'm a big fan of the Taz if you can't tell, I've been playing with it a lot since Fear and Greed dropped, and it's definitely grown on me a lot. I'm not quite sure if it's my favourite gun in the game just yet, but it's definitely up there. I'd like to know what you think though, what do you think about the Taz? Were you a fan from the beginning, or do you think you'll give it a second chance now that you know more about it? I'd love to know, so be sure to drop a comment about it down below. As usual though, I've been Cookie Dough, and have a good one.